The deer, a completely typical and mediocre animal found all over the world. Whether wandering into a yard or drinking from some stream or something, deer are fine. As far as animals go, deer seem to meet all the requirements. They eat plants. They exist in groups sometimes. They have faces. If one were to need to think of an animal, a deer would be a fine example. From an evolutionary perspective, there is certainly nothing wrong with deer. Deer are native to pretty much everywhere, so there's that too. In North America, you're never more than a hundred feet from a deer. The Sambar deer from Bangalore looks a little different than other deer, but is still clearly a deer. This is a different deer from another different place. Here we see a female deer nursing her young. Lots of other animals do this, so not exactly breaking the mold here, but it's fine. The male deer is a kind with antlers. The deer with antlers do what you would expect them to do with antlers for the most part. No surprises here. Being disappointed would be your own fault. Deer are one of the few animals that feel comfortable around human structures. When approached, however, they always run away. Any other reaction would be expecting a lot from a deer. Elk, a close relative to deer, have more ornate antlers which, compared to the mediocre deer, come off as trying too hard. And the red heart beast? Scale it back, buddy. You're just going to end up dead like the rest of us on our horrifying planet. I think we need to eat those frogs. What's the situation with Sex House? The cast are all duds. Shut down Sex House. It's okay, Tara, eat the frog. It's the sexy thing to do.